2,800 hours, more than $160,000 in overtime, all accumulated by one police officer for non-police related work. KSHB 41 team first broke the news about the hours, the money, OT slips, and that the acting police chief is on administrative leave. Our I team has published more than a dozen reports the past month on air and online. Well, tonight, 41 team reporter Jessica McMaster worked to get answers from City Hall about the oversight of city issued credit cards. She tracked down those records only because the officer mentioned it himself. Last week, we told you the officer at the center of the overtime investigation spent $40,000 on a city issued credit card. Initially, the city told us the officer didn't have a credit card. It wasn't until we proved he did that they gave us those records, which begs the question, who within City Hall is looking after your money? Well, independence seems to waste a lot of money, and this is just an example of it. Our investigation began when we first broke the news. An independence police officer logged thousands of hours of overtime and brought home $169,000 for that overtime alone in 2021, all to remodel the police station in jail. It's sketchy. When looking through hundreds of overtime slips, something else caught our attention. The officer in question notes on one slip, he needs a new P card, a city issued credit card. On February 3rd, we asked for the officer's credit card statements dating back to 2017, but the city denied any records exist, saying specifically, the officer does not have a city issued credit card in his name. Therefore, no records exist. We showed the city the overtime slip where the officer says his credit card expired. Only then did the city confirm the officer uses a credit card issued to the police department. Three weeks after our initial request, we received the statements, which are tied to police card nine. City spokesperson Meg Lewis confirms the officer's the only one who uses the card except for one other purchase in 2021. The officer spent $40,000 in the past year alone, mostly at hardware stores, which could be tied to the 2,800 hours of overtime that went into remodeling the jail. Since the officer is the only one to use the credit card, why did the city initially tell us he didn't have one? We have way more questions than answers. That's what city manager Zach Walker told us when we first sat down with him to talk about the overtime issue last month. And now we have more questions too. Who within the city approves and tracks who spends what when it comes to city issued credit cards, but the city won't say, citing the pending overtime investigation. The people who live here footing the bill for excessive overtime, credit card purchases, none of which have yet to be explained. I think it's a crock. Walker admitted previously the city's finances are his responsibility. Ultimately, everything in this organization comes back to me. But Walker tells us he's not the one who oversees city issued credit cards. We'll be sure to let you know when we find out who does. We have the officer's credit card statements dating back to 2018. There is a $700 hotel room charge on there, among some other purchases we're looking into. For the I-Team, I'm Jessica McMaster, KSHB 41 News.